My name is Tommy Cofiel, and I was the lead product designer on the Connection Machines CM1, CM2, which was the first artificial intelligence computer commercially sold, and 30 years ago was also the fastest supercomputer in the entire world. At that point, the supercomputers had run up against a huge limitation, the speed of light. We have to go into some radically new uh, programming paradigm. Uh, let's look at parallel computing that's inspired by the structure of the human brain. We wanted to create a machine that would be interesting to talk to, and that would be part of uh, the human development, part of the human evolution. It would help us evolve to another step. It would help us uh, go beyond what we as human beings could do. So I started thinking about what is our concept of a machine that's an electronic brain and what were the images that we have had, at least since computers have originated, uh, to conceptualize this sort of of supercomputer. We decided to make essentially the doors transparent so that you could see the lights inside of the machine. So this software structure visible through the lights could be seen through the doors and speak to its audience about its immense complexity and how it would be working at on the problems, not one processor at a time, but in uh, ideal fall, uh, ideal case, 64,000 processes at a time. The machine was so arresting, so visually arresting, and the detailing of it, the quality of the materials and of the detailing was so exquisite that we all sat there thinking we have to write code that's as elegant and beautiful as the physical machine. And how many machines can you say that about? That stands as tall as I am, and Danny said, it shouldn't be much taller because we want this to be a member of the family. We don't want it to be an overlord that we have to look up to and fear. It should be a member of the family that can embrace us and we can embrace it. Steve Jobs was immensely inspired by the connection machine that these technological tools, these boxes, could be visual inspirations to their users about what this technology could do for you, what this technology could become, what we could become as human beings extended with this technology. As Danny said, when he, we turned on the machine for the first time, he was hoping it would say, um, uh, here's a machine that can be proud of us for creating it. And I think we did that also.